Today we will be making a phospholipid bilayer. A phospholipid bilayer is composed of two layers of phospholipids. A phospholipid is a lipid with a phosphate head followed by multiple tails of fatty acid. The phosphate head is polar, meaning it attracts water, which is another polar molecule. The non-polar side is the fatty acid tail. The fatty acid tail is non-soluble. It is not mixed with water, and that's what makes the plasma membrane water insoluble. Inside the plasma membrane, we have membrane proteins. Membrane proteins allow certain molecules to pass through that would not normally be allowed to permeate the phospholipid bilayer. If for example, a molecule wanted to get inside the phospholipid bilayer, it would go through this membrane protein. If the molecule is too large for the membrane protein, then endocytosis occurs, where the cell membrane encompasses the material it wants to absorb, and it sucks it in by its fat. And then, um, just don't do that part that wasn't. And we are back. We have here a crappy. Ah! <laughs> These are the fatty acid tails. The reason why the phosphate heads are on the outside is because the water on the outside of the cell and on the inside of the cell cause these fatty acid tails to face each other and to have the phosphate heads on the outside where they will not be able to be touched by the outside. Put that down. Listen to me. But that is also a good point. Inside here, there is cholesterol, which you cannot see because this model is not that good, actually. Oh, there it is. There it is. Cholesterol adds to the structural integrity. This show brought to you by. What the hell are you doing? Oh, oh, my bad. This show brought to you by South Side Motors, located on the corner of 8th and S Street. Go there today. And we're back. We have here a protein. Oh shit. It's not a protein. It's a protein. Okay, gotta do that again. Oh, oh. Ha <laughs> ha